going to be solving this interview question from LeetCode. Um, so basically what is this saying? It's saying given the array numbers for each num sub i find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it. That is for each num sub i you have to count the number of valid j's such that j is not equal to i and num sub j is less than num sub i. So let's look at their example. So we're going to be given this array 8, 1, 2, 2, 3 and we're going to be outputting 4, 0, 1, 1, 3 and that's because the number 8 um, is greater than 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. The number 1 is not greater than any of the elements so we submit 0 the number 2 is only greater than one element, so we submit one. Um, so in order to solve this, uh, the first step I would do is write out a list of steps that I need to complete. So the first thing that we need, we need an integer array for our answer. And the integer array is going to be the same size as nums. The next thing we want to do is iterate through the nums array. And we want to have a, a count variable, so that will keep track of the number of uh, elements that are smaller. So, for example, we're using eight. Our count variable will keep track that eight is larger than one, two, three, one, two, two, and three. So, we create an integer count equals zero. Um, next thing we have to do is grab the first index. So in first num equals nums sub i. Then we have to iterate through the array again. Um, because now we're going to do our comparison to see so first num would be representative of 8 and then the next iteration through the array is going to do the comparison whether 8 is larger than any of the rest of the elements so iterate through array again And then so for int j equals zero, maybe it's less than j plus plus, and then so our comparison step is the only case where this the count should be incremented would be if the first num is greater than nums sub j um, then we count plus plus otherwise we don't do anything and then outside of this loop but still inside the first for loop we want to add equals count and then finally we want to return answer and then let's run our code with a test case see if everything looks good so far it looks good let's submit it and we got a success